internets, various internets, bit of thing, sort of introduction to this whole thing. Um, I hit 100 subscribers the other day. And that, that was exciting. I mean, <laughs> there's a hundred people on this planet that were like, that guy's cool. Let's see more of him. <laughs> so this is sort of a two-pronged celebration thing. The next one, like, I'm releasing two videos. Uh, first one will be this one. Um, which I'll tell you what I'm doing, or you will read the title, um, and if you didn't, what? And, <coughs> and the other one will be the Blink transcript. So yeah. Um, um, as you can tell, I'll be reading some smut fanfic. Eh, that'll be fun. I mean, since I love Doctor Who so much, I'm gonna be doing Doctor Who one first. I might read some more. Don't really know yet. These aren't mine, or I don't actually need them. So the one I'm reading is called, um, Secret Longings Fulfilled. Sounds interesting. Um, there's a little note at the beginning that says, In the event that the rating didn't clue you in, this is smut. I've never written Doctor Who smut before, but the idea would not go away. So I'm giving this whole blah 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 Matt Smith and Amy blah 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 um, let's get to the exciting bit. Um, so basically, I'll give you some story. Um, I think Amy made the doctor mad, or in some way, and now she's mad at him because he's mad at her. It's kind of a weird story, but, and then they have sex. She placed a hand over his, sliding it <laughs> to the zipper at the back of her skirt. He took the hint, working it down as he moved to kiss her breasts again. And then lower still to her stomach as he slid the skirt over the hips and down. His hands moved with it, guiding it down the length of her legs. She stood so he could remove it entirely. He drew away a little, then looking at her. She was of she was of the mind to ask him what he was thinking, scrutinizing like that. Looking very much as if he was, well, memorizing, for lack of a better way to think of it. And maybe he was. She kind of liked the idea. A finger slid between her That's... Um... Circling her sensitive She cried out when he replaced the finger with his thumb. Increasing the pressure there just enough that she had to grab onto the nearest thing and hope that it was sturdy enough to keep her upright. Well, a hand made it... Made its way from her hip to her abdomen, running his fingers along her skin. He slid up more, cupping a breast as he kissed her so intimately. He was gentle at first, almost hesitant, as if unsure too. If, as if, as if unsure this too would be allowed. She was far too gone now to not allow it. Wanting completion, knowing that he had all the necessary parts and knowledge of how to use them to give it to her. Hand slid to her, pressing her firmly, uh, pressing her firmly against his mouth, like, hmm. She had no idea what she said, but it was coherent. She felt his tongue slide between her up, up and in to that spot she wanted him in more than Grace. He encouraged her to the floor, wordlessly. Neither had so much as said a word since he had first kissed her. She didn't count the incoherent mumblings, though there had been plenty of those b on both their parts to, to this point. She went willingly. She didn't mean, need much guidance, it seemed, working the zipper on his trousers and pulling them down, just as she'd done. He stood so they could be removed. It was her turn to touch and kiss, taking him much in the same way as he had her, as if memorizing, as if memorizing, I don't think that's the word you were looking for. This man, she thought, more than once was going to come back for her, except he had. She didn't understand the workings of the TARDIS, but she believed him that it was an accident. She believed him that she hadn't wanted to trust him. Trusting him would mean everything had been for nothing, but she did now. Oh dear. Her hand stroked the base of <laughs> stroking him as she followed his unspoken clues to what he liked most. Wow. This is... 
Well, she said slid the length into her mouth. So he pulled himself out of her mouth, kneeling in front of her. He kissed her again, and their tongues met as he guided her to the floor with him on top of her. He broke the kiss, eyes watching her for a moment. Was she supposed to shut her eyes? She had no idea. She didn't want that for was for sure. She wanted to capture every moment so she'd remember every detail. Always. She lifted her hips, sliding her legs along his calves, which was evidently what he'd been waiting for, a sign that she wanted to go the distance. Only then did he enter her, sliding into her almost as if she might break, or not be real. She didn't know which. <laughs> he was gentle, his strokes in and out almost tenanted, tenanted, tentative, and then he was there. She felt him right there and wanted more. Please, she murmured, begged. She needed him inside of her. Uh, oh, God, she cried out. Blah, 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 sex, 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 sex. Sex, sex. Oh, that's the end. Well. Well, I feel significantly disturbed. I will probably never watch Doctor Who. Ever.